It's true though, they are murderers. <laughs> the entire yeah, fucking royal family. Right. Yep. Okay, one more. Hey everybody, we're back, and look! We think we're gonna leave this fucking town. Yep. I can't guarantee that we'll never come back. But we're leaving. Fuck this shit. Yep. Now this, when I was younger and played this for the first time, uh, I could not, for the life of me, figure out what I needed to do next. I went around all over this fucking place. I went, like, exploring everywhere I could possibly think to go. Man, I moved all over the fucking place. And, like, just clicking everything, talking to everyone that I could. Um, no idea. I was just, I was lost as fuck. And you know why? Uh, I've got a because... theory. Go on. Is this one of these things where you have to kind of go all the way back to the start? That is absolutely what you have to do. <laughs> Fucking backtrack all the way. Oh, that's and decide... bullshit. That it would be a good idea to fucking trade more of the shit that you've accumulated with the fucking pack rat. That's garbage. The mouse. What is this book even? The Wisdom of Falrock. It's blank. Oh. Fucking. There you go. That's great. Yeah. You know what would have been amazing is if Sierra implemented some sort of click limit where if you investigated too much like brute force investigating that you would run into some mis misfortune. Well, you know, I've made... I, I like that you're thinking like like a Sierra employee. I, I've made... <laughs> let's, uh, let's punish them for me not being able to figure out our shit. I've made a few uh, yes, yes. hidden object games in my day. <laughs> mm, it's true. Matt was, uh, yeah, actually some some well known hidden object games too. Yeah, as well. well like, yeah, like uh, was, what was it? Empress of the Deep was one of yours. Yeah, yeah, the whole yeah, the whole thing, the whole series. I mean, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, there's a chance, you know, maybe, but I don't think so. But maybe you never know. Hey, you never know. Maybe you're into it. Yeah. Well, I mean, geez, I played it, and I wasn't into fucking mobile games at all back when I played it the first time. So. But the point is, is that in a in a, <laughs> or well, it was a hidden object. It was it was a it was a browser game back then, wasn't it? No, it, it was always it was always its own it thing. We were we we worked through um, yeah a couple another a distributor company that handled every hidden yeah. object game. Yeah. Like but big fishers. Like yeah. Made with me? You won't believe yeah. what you will see. Okay, time to give him this fucking book. Aha! You offer me a book. I'll get my finest shepherd's crook. Now that sounds like a good trade. Oh, fuck off, fuck off and... with the rhymes and just give me some facts, you little rat. So you, so before I I, I outed you as a uh, as a creator of uh, hidden object games, Matt, you were telling us a story about oh. uh, how your experience in working with those. <laughs> Right, basically, uh, it, it, we that's exactly what we did, is we punished players for clicking too much. <laughs> <laughs> as, because, as, you should, as you should in a game like that. Really. Well, absolutely. You, if you're trying to do hidden object stuff, you can just run your mouse around and go click, 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 click. We would like... It's true, we'd, but I mean, eventually, when you get frustrated enough, that's what you do, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like... I remember playing fuck the Goblin series, which we'll get to eventually because it was published by Sierra. I mean, even if they, even if they didn't develop it, um, and that game was fucking pixel hunting city. Yeah. Um, that game series in general, including fucking Woodruff and the Schnibble. <laughs> I love that you get to walk past this sad scene all the time. Uh, hey, yep. hey, I'm just gonna without even interacting with them. I'm just yeah. gonna keep no, going. That... That's a well-spoken animal. He's like contemplating, like you know, the work of Shakespeare and shit. He's given mm. up. He's yeah. He has his own copy of the Wisdom of Falderall. All right, do it, do it, flat top. <laughs> flat top. <laughs> she from the back. She does kind of look like a fucking uh, Dick Tracy. Oh, villain, that's that's she? what Andrew was saying before your audio went out. It's like oh, right now it? she's flat top from Dick Tracy. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Love it. 
Dick Tracy. Holy shit. I remember back. Can't go through that door. There are um 600 bad-tempered weasels with crossbows right on the other side. Yeah, that's it. Weasels. Uh -huh. Well, <laughs> thank you for the warning, little fellow. But you're full of shit, so fuck you. <laughs> Eat it. Well, we're back here now. Thank God, I was... Oh, I was starting to get worried. Oh. Yeah. You didn't have quite enough... A, a little bit light on the whimsy, I'm afraid. Yeah, so. it's fine. But now we have a crook to get the cheese. Yeah. We're gonna use the crook to get the cheese. Oh, bye crook. Well... You just did. You just stole the moon. Moon thief. <laughs> Human. Started <laughs> pooper. You are under arrest for all of the reasons my lord the Archduke Yip Yap stated. Plus the heinous and disgusting crime of having no fur or feathers to cover your bald face. Let's lock her up till we can figure out what to do with her. Oh, good. <laughs> Be there. Well, looks like we're gonna need a Dun lawyer. <laughs> lawyer up, Valenice. <laughs> oh, who oh. would you call in a situation like that? I think they there's just... one guy, one TV based uh, Atlanta, Georgia living lawyer that we might be able to call. <laughs> who might oh, that you be? Had to, you had to throw in the Atlanta, Georgia part. <laughs> Otherwise, I was gonna straight up go Jessica Fletcher and throw a, a monkey wrench. In she the wasn't head. a lawyer. She was close enough. She was God a damn it. she was a fucking author. She was an uh, yeah, she was but... an author with an extremely inquisitive mind. Actually, put her up against Ben Matlock in a fucking trial, and I'll take fucking Jessica Fletcher any day of the week. But um, That's what I'm talking about man. But nevertheless, but, but nevertheless. Oh right, Ben music. Matlock. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, dropping the ball. I'm all sorry. The way. I'm sorry. It's fine. Look, here's Rosella. Um. Okay. Oh, and. Was that Bill Cosby? Yeah. <laughs> He's making a lot of appearances. You see! You. <laughs> You're in the graveyard! You see. Up yours, Cosby. <laughs> Such a fall from grace. Actually, um, good. There is a uh, there's this series of uh, I don't know if you would necessarily call them crowdsourced, but um, back when I was just getting started in nuts, this is going to take forever. I can't stand this rotten, worthless little shovel. Oh, he's a pirate. Look at that, pathetic. Unless it's enough dirt to suffocate a bug. Not uh, so there's this um, there's this series of, of uh, adventure games that uh, if you were a member of the adventure game studio community of which I was back when I was getting my start with game development. Um, but like, if you want to kind of get uh, get started with it, because it it's kind of daunting to to like create all of your own assets and stuff like that. There's this one series of uh, of games called Reality on the Norm, uh, where everybody like well not everybody but many members of the AGS community just create sprites and rooms and shit like that for. And so it's this this like God, there's got to be fifty or more games made in the Reality on the Norm, but like. Pretty early on, um, somebody, like maybe the second uh, episode of it that was ever created, um, dealt with uh, you, I think you, in that one, you were the Grim Reaper um, trying to reclaim uh, zombie Bill Cosby. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. Oh, so no. there's this, like a zombies Bill Cosby sprite out there that you can use and... Yeah, it's it's some weird shit. And this isn't it. Uh, hello, good fellow. Nope. Uh, thank you again. I wonder... Well, you see! 
Oh, and laboriously climb out. Oh no, he's measuring her. For a grave. For a tomb. Okay, lady, I got your link. I can't start digging your grave until tomorrow, though. Sorry. Sorry, matey, arg. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. You so be out of luck, he's says I. Really one dimensional, so he's kind of uh, he's, he's kind of a piece of uh... a piece of what, man? Here lies work. The he's a piece of work. Road. He ate till he that guy's a piece of work. That guy's a real. Day he bought twenty stale pies for a penny. He's a piece of work. Have made him explode. The sorrowful Marjorie Pratt liked to wail on the cliffs with her cat. One night, such a. These all look like uh, Delia Deet sculptures from Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah, they kind of do. <laughs> It's my sculpture. And I don't mean I bought it, I mean I made it. It's my sculpture. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now, true story, um, when I was younger, I played this, uh, I can't remember if... It was the same year or close, but the Nightmare Before Christmas was very close in time to this. Uh, and so, like, yeah, this, I, this is a little like Burton esque, the, I will admit. Yeah, yeah, like the the trees and the 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 little kids in the in the jack o' lantern house and shit like that. Um. Uh, Moss Man. Fuck that shit. Whoa. Whoa, whoa! That was terrifying. Yep. So, uh, was, yeah. Yeah, Nightmare Before Christmas, 1993. Yep, so next year, man. I can't tell you if this was directly influenced by that, but... I can. Sure as hell felt I, like I, can, I can pretty much exactly tell you. Perhaps not as much as, say, Top Gun or Roadhouse, but it was definitely influenced. <laughs> yeah. There's definitely, definitely some Top Gun influences in this game. <laughs> Wait, isn't this land called Ooga Booga? Yeah. And wasn't the main Oogie bad guy Oogie Boogie? Yeah. Okay. Yep, yeah, I'm really disappointed now. <laughs> <laughs> See? Top Gun. <laughs> yes? May I help you? Mm, hello. Uh, I am Rosella of Daventry. Uh, m may I ask you a few questions? Certainly, Miss Rosella. Do come in. Quickly, please. Mm hmm. <laughs> this is really uncomfortable. Please, okay. You're gonna make me. You're gonna make me just walk like this, around so. you. Welcome to Ooga Booga, Miss Rosella. I am Doctor Mort Cadaver, Coroner. How may I help you? I'm seeking King Otark, ruler of the trolls. I've heard that he's been. Detained in this land. Have you heard anything about him? No, but I bet that wicked Malicia is behind it. Oh wow! She calls the destruction. Nobody likes Malicia around here. How devilish! This land has slipped into chaos. I don't know. Kind of got a thing for and those horrid mildly attractive older wizard s's. If they're just kids, can't you do something to stop them? I'm just the town doctor. I spend a great deal of time replacing limbs, reattaching noses, you know. But I could hold my own against those kids. Until last week, that is, uh, when I gave my spine away to a charming lady who'd fallen off a cliff. It seems that without a backbone, 
I can't stand up to anyone. <laughs> uh, I also own a club outside of Kansas well, City well, called the Double Deuce. <laughs> it's the kind of place that you sweep now. the eyeballs off the floor at the end of the night. <laughs> Here, here's a pass. <laughs> And thusly, we just we have entered the land of Ooga Booga. Yeah, we sure did. <sighs> the land of Ooga Booga. And there we are. Fucking, I can't believe they named it that. Oh, yeah, and it's ruled by the Boogeyman, or the Boogeyman is sort of the main antagonist oh, of this area. Oh my god, why did they do And it was... Uh... Hey, there's humans in it, at least. Yeah. All right, well, on that note. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Join us next I time when we fucking watch the, 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 just the endless fucking derivativeness of this game. Fucking Roadhouse, Top Look, Gun, I mean, Die yeah. Hard. <laughs> Matlock. Matlock. Oh, this is exactly like the episode of Matlock. Do, 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 where, uh... Matlock had to solve the case of the old lady in the